All right, guys, we're just gonna start fishing today. So me and Daniel are out here. I got a jig head, three ounce. Got this black big hammer. Looks just like a black rockfish, and you know those link cod love black rockfish. So I'm gonna throw this big hammer down there with a little teaser on top, and Daniel's gonna start off throwing some shrimp flies, and he's just gonna try to get some fish in the boat first. I'm gonna try to get some big ones. Got a good feeling about today. Great feeling. All right, this is the rig I'm using right here. The little three ounce jig head, a little trailer on top. Let's see how we do. Yeah. Daniel on the shrimp fly, you got a little shrimp on there? Uh, a little squid on there? Squid, yeah. All and right. some bacon. Man, it's nice to be out here in good weather. Oh, Last there goes time. a bite already. Let's go. Nice, dude. First drop. It's a small one. It's on there. Yeah. It's on it. there. I want a ling, though. Mm. Oh, dude, I got one, too. <laughs> yeah, first <laughs> drop, baby. All right, man. Let's let's see what it is. It's a small rockfish, but... Yeah, little rockfish there? Yeah, yeah. Dude, there's, like, no drift right now. Oh, is that a little ling? Dude, no I, way. I was, I was a little them. ling on my first... Uh, nice. First drop. The very first drop like five seconds man there's no current right now so i gotta cast out and retrieve this black big hammer dude i got some i got good feelings about that thing there's a bite first little drop right here oh there's another bite i think unless i'm just hitting bottom damn i feel like that's a bite is that a fish no yeah it is oh there's a fish <laughs> it's a small one though Maybe baby ling to it, dude. Oh, these swim baits. Let's go. The fish are feeding right now. Later, guy. Ooh, all right, this is gonna be a good day, Dan. It's gonna be a good day. Let's go. Yeah, another little ling. Oh, there's a bunch of lings down there right now. Yeah, on the little top. Baby ones. On the top one. Hopefully, like every four or five, we get a keeper. Cool. He's not bleeding or anything. Good to go. See you later. Uh, maybe these fish taste the blood. They can, you know, sense the blood on the hook, so they're like they want to avoid it. Maybe. Or maybe they sense it and want it even more. Maybe. True. Could be true. All right, drop it down, boys. Practicing becoming a charter boat captain too. Look at this. It looks like a piece of squid. Like an octopus right there, and a huge piece of squid down there. All right, man, you ready? Yeah, we're gonna see who catches the first one right now. One, on this two, drop. three. Even though I already caught the first one on the first drop. Ha ha. And see who catches the bigger one. Oh, right, you man. caught the big. You caught the first one today. Let's see who catches the biggest one today. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. And the most. For sure. Oh, I got a bite already, man. Hey, hey, mine let's hasn't, go. My hasn't even hit the bottom yet. Hold let's up. go. Give me that. Uh, no snags, baby. No snags. Oh, you really gambling, huh? He's trying to swim that all the way on the bottom. There's one. There's one. Got him. Oh, yeah, let's go. Damn. Another baby ling, probably. Doesn't feel too big. Feels about the same size as the other one. Damn. Okay. Got him. First okay. One. All right. All right. <laughs> you got one. I got one in the first drop. It's kind of small. I'm going to release him. Pretty small. We'll get some bigger ones, dude. We'll get some bigger fish. Man, rockfish are so cool. There's so many different varieties, so many different patterns. And they're all good eaters too. So, uh, this is China, you think? No, that's not China. China is like more yellow, this yellow and black. Is, yeah, this is not a canary. That's definitely not a canary. Is it a yellow eye? Nah. I don't know what this is. What is this thing? Anyway, it's too small. I mean, it's, it's big enough to keep. If you caught this on a charter boat, you'd keep it most likely. But, you know, we'll catch the bigger ones. And he's gone. Dude, fishing is pretty fun. <laughs> nah. <laughs> We're the only ones out here too. We got the whole Half Moon Bay to ourselves. So what I'm using today is a six foot six Shimano Travala with a Shimano Socorro SW5000 reel. The rod is a medium heavy, 50 to 100 pound braid. And yeah. That might be ish. Oh, oh yeah, I felt something too. Oh, 
Oh, got a fish. There's oh, a fish on there. Oh, they got a fish. Oh, on there. dude, there's a big fish oh. on there. Oh, he's in the hole, dude. He just snagged too. He probably took the trailer. There he is. <laughs> it's still on. It's still on. I think so. Yeah, I think I just got to give him some line. Yeah. Just got to give him some line, let it free spool, and hope he comes out. It feels like a big ling right now. Just be patient. Just be patient. Got him out. You're free? Got him. Yeah, let's go. Oh, oh, watch out for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. It feels like a good one. Oh, baby. Uh, It's a cab? It's a oh, no, it's a nice rockfish. Oh, that's a nice rockfish. Oh, heck, yeah. Man, was that what it was, you think? Yeah. Yeah, dude, because you already snagged. But hey, man, he freed you. Yeah, nice. not bad. Not bad at all. Lucky. Lucky you took it. Oh, oh man, that's look at that. One. That's a fatty. That is fat. That's a gopher. Look at that fish, man. That's a nice fish right there. Heck yeah. So I'm just gonna cut his gills. I got some ice in here and some salt water, so he's gonna bleed out in the water. There's another one. There's another one. So ice. Ooh, a little fight to him. Nothing huge though, but hey, he's not that much of a baby. He's small though, but okay. Oh. On the swim bait. He's kind of close, you think? Mm, nah. Nah? Not even. It's not even close? Nah. <laughs> alright, alright. 19? It's just 19, you think? Yeah. Let's give him a measure anyway, just, just for fun. Yeah. Uh, 17 and a half. Yeah. This fish. Got him. Oh, I got one. Man, I'm about to switch to a swim bait, dude. Damn. <laughs> Alright, man. Oh, oh Cub Greenling. Oh, snap. Is it a keeper? I think so. If he is, can I throw him on the live bait? Right? Sure. Oh, 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 to go down. Yeah, he's keeper. Alright, so, so this is a Kelp Greenling, and they don't have very many spines. If you rub your fingers on the their, their fin here, you don't get poked at all. And Ling Cod love these fish. So Daniel is gonna throw this on a live bait rig. And if you're gonna do this, if you it has to be a keeper, and this counts towards your bag limit. So I actually did something different on that one. Usually when I use a swim bait, I just bounce it off and make sure I'm on the bottom constantly. But this time I found the bottom and then I just retrieved it as if I was from shore retrieved it for about five seconds and then let it drop down back to the bottom hit it once and then retrieve it for another five seconds and that was the first time i did it and got a bite so let's uh try that again see if that works well, there's a nice fish right here finally we've been fishing for about half an hour and no bites it's a link that might keep oh i think that's a keeper it's probably a keeper yeah that's a keeper i think let me get my fish grips no, that's probably small Probably small. Yeah, he's 21 inches, a little small, so damn. Getting bigger. I probably would release this one anyway because it's a female. The most common types of ling cod you'll catch, the color wise, are blue and brown. This one's blue. Like 90% of the blue ones are female, 90% of the brown ones are male. Not a bad looking fish though. Just a couple more inches and he would be legal. Nice pattern on him too. It really does not hurt to add that little teaser trailer on top of the swim bait. Probably half the fish I caught or more were caught on that one. Did so that one hit the teaser? Yeah. Mm. Increases your chances of catching fish a lot. Yeah, for sure. I feel pretty tired, man. Tired? Yeah. What time you sleep last night? Hmm? What time you sleep last night? Mm, 12 30 or something. Oh, 
only good thing about this, we go in whenever. Nah, dude, I'm getting my fish. Get your fish and let's go. <laughs> sure, at least one fish, yeah. Yo, nice oh, one? yeah, baby. Let's oh, go. yeah. Oh, that's a nice one, Max. This feels like a good one. Oh, yeah, man. My drag's tight, too. He's taking drag. Oh, what? It's a nice one right now. Nice one, yep. It's fighting pretty hard. Yeah. Let's see what he bit on. Let's see some color. Yeah. That is a. Is that a ling? It's a cab. Nah. It's big, a cab is on. Nah, big ling. Male ling. Nice male ling cod. He bit on the trail on the top trailer hook too. Oh, funny. On the trailer. I'll net him. You I got, got him. him. Yeah. Just keep your head in the water, brother. Oh, you just took him up the water. Barely hooked him. On the trailer, dude. Nice. There we go. That's a nice sling cut right there. Look at that thing. That thing's fat. Oh yeah. It's got a full belly too. Look how barely he's hooked too. Look at that hook. See that hook? Look at that. Came off just like that. Oh yeah. That's a nice male too. Nice brown color. 90% sure this is a male. Got a stomach full of something, probably squid or octopus. That's nice fish. Don't even have to measure him. Put him in here, bleed him. I'm getting hungry. I'm ready to go eat. Daniel, you gotta catch one, dude. There it is. Nice, Daniel. For sure. <laughs> nice, dude. Okay. Oh, did I? Nah, you got him. Flip him over here. Right in there. Yeah, it's not bad. The issue with fishes out here on a little inflatable raft. Crazy guy out here. Let's go see how he's doing real quick. How's it going? Yeah, we got a bunch of small ones. Yeah. Just a little, just over here a little bit. Careful when that wind picks up though, pushing you this way, you know? Yeah, maybe just just hold this close. No. I thought I could make it all day without throwing up, but we were out there for about four hours, and the very last minute, right before we were about to come in, I threw up. So uh, still got to work on that. I think it's because I wasn't fishing. But anyway, here's the little catch that we have today. A really nice gopher rockfish. A nice copper rockfish. Big old lingcod right here. Probably, yeah, five, six pounds. Right, so what I'm gonna do first, I'm just gonna fillet the gopher and the copper. I'm gonna leave the lingcod hole. And in all these rockfish is very similar. They have some pin bones right here, right before the rib cage. So if you can cut through the pin bones first, then you can, go right over the ribs. So this place is pretty cool. Half Moon Bay, Pillar Point boat launch. Got a bathroom here. Got a nice fillet table. Daniel's finishing up his fillets right now. A couple cutting boards, another tray right there. Everybody, make sure you clean up your own mess. All the birds sit waiting for your catch too. So after you fillet everything you're ready to throw all your stuff away make sure you don't leave your fillets and fish unattended because those birds will swoop in quick and take it from you so i'm curious to what's in this ling stomach and i bet you are too so i'm not going to fillet it yet i'm going to do, do that at home let's take a look i'm i have a feeling it's an octopus oh no wow look would you look at that completely digested almost fish don't know what it is, but look how slimy and you see the, the spine of the fish. That's what they eat. That's like a swim bait right there. And that's what was in the stomach. That's the entire thing. Oh, and look, there's one of these lice too. These things attach to the lingcod's gills and they suck the blood from the gills, I think. And he ate, he ate it. Maybe it was in the gills and it got stuck in his throat. 
But yeah, look at that, big old fish. <laughs> Was not expecting that, I was expecting some squid. All right, wow, man, that's a nice fish, huh? Beautiful male lingcod. All right, I'm gonna put him back on the ice now and go cook some food up, we are starving. Man, it feels good to be back on land. Being out there for three or four hours really gets your equilibrium off a little bit. So how I'm gonna cook this, I'm gonna make some rice. I'm not very good at making rice, but um, I'm gonna do it in a way where anybody can do it. A 10 year old can do it. So first thing you need some, you need a flame. You can do this on a grill, you can do it on a stove, but I'm just using charcoals for my heat source today. So as this flame warms up, hopefully it doesn't melt my waders, I'm gonna get some water in this pot. So a lot of times if you cook a lot of rice, people say you put it up to your knuckle or something and over the rice, I don't know. I Every time I try to do it like that, I always get soggy rice. But this way is foolproof. And the rice always turns out perfect. It's almost like cooking pasta. So you fill up your pot all the way with water, just like you're, you're cooking some pasta. And you get that to a rolling boil. While these coals heat and while this water heats, I'm going to get the fish prepped, put some salt, pepper, and garlic on it. Got my butter and I got my avocado today. This is gonna be like a full meal. So the other day I looked in my P.O. box and I found a little surprise. I had no idea what this was. It's a little Fisherman's Life logo on the Altoids can. And inside, a bunch of spices. Salt, onion, oops, there goes the pepper. But all for my catch and cooks, sent from Chris. Thank you, man, really appreciate it. I'm gonna have this on all of my catch and cooks. It's gonna be in my backpack from now on. So the rice has been boiling for about 12 or 15 minutes, not that long at all. And how you check it, you just, here, let's, let's get a zoom in on that. So that's rice right there. And you know, just get a little bit, taste it. As long as it's not hard, then it's good to go. And it is good to go. So I'm gonna dump out this water. So get all the rice out. Now all we gotta do is cook the fish, put the avocado in here. All right, we got two pans here. Just a little bit of butter. Oh, this smells hella bomb already. As all you fishermen know, it doesn't take long for fish to cook at all. So let's see how this looks right now. A little brown, a little browning going on there. I'll leave that big one on to cook a little longer. All right, now we add some rice to the fish. That's yours, Daniel. You never burn this rice and you almost never overcook it either. And it always turns out perfect. You know, it's gonna be good. Always great to have salt with avocado. Just a little bit. And there we have it all laid out, ready to eat. Daniel, you ready to eat? Hell yeah. Ready, man? Yeah, I'm ready. You ready? Cheers. This is a good meal right here. This is a lot, this is a lot of food. Damn, it's good. Mm. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Get that rice as a filler. Damn, I swear, avocado and fish, you cannot beat that combination. That is the best combination. Fish cooked perfectly. Avocado adds that fat. Dude, Woo! can't even talk, huh? Hell no. We added some of that poor man's lobster in here. Dude, Whoa. hell yeah. With a little bit of butter mm -hmm. on top. And this rice is really good to cook like this too because you can boil it so you can add spices to it. You can add salt, you can add paprika, and the rice will absorb all the spices. Give it some extra flavor. This is a legit meal right here. Yeah, this is probably the amount of food that you would have in a burrito. Probably more fish though. Yeah, uh, the thing, thing though with fish, you gotta make sure that it's salted enough or else it's just kind of bland. But if you add salt, texture's there, everything's there, the flavors come out. So the official date of this giveaway I've been talking about in the last couple of videos is gonna be June 9th on Saturday. I'll be at Outdoor Pro Shop in Kotati from 9 to 1, giving away 200 hats, 100 hats, 100 t-shirts for the first 200 people that show up. There's also going to be a 10% off the entire store for anyone who mentions Fisherman's Life that day. And also there's going to be raffles on the hour until 1 o'clock and there's going to be a big um, rod reel giveaway also. So come by 9 o'clock, get yourself a t-shirt. I'll have some for sale too if you want to buy some. 
and uh, make the official announcement in another video but for those of you who watch to the end thank you for watching to the end and now you guys know the official date and anyone who's not local I'll ship some shirts out to you guys to find out a way how to do that giveaway but yeah right on Daniel Daniel's channel philosophy D check it out he's got a video from today too and he cooked his he called it the poor man's lobster where he boiled his fish in seven up ate it with a little bit of butter and it well check out his video to see how it turned out but yeah that was pretty good right here i think i'm gonna be full um, after this yeah it's real good i'm done man i mean that was great <laughs> Mmm. Mmm. -mm.